Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This reading is going to be for the sign of Taurus. Taurians, what's going on with you? I'm excited to connect with you. What's going on, Taurus? <clears throat> what's going on with you? What sort of energy are you bringing into this next week from the 10th through the 16th? What is the most prevalent energy? What seems to be consuming you at this time as we are entering this new week? mid month of July. <clears throat> what's going on, Taurus? Let's see what's going on. Interesting. All right, guys. Clearly, there's a situation. It involves others, okay? This is a situation that involves others. <clears throat> Nevertheless, there's potential for growth. There's potential for growth in this situation. There's some sort of establishment already set between you and whomever, you know, you share this sort of relationship with. We're going to dig into this here shortly. Nevertheless, there's a sense of benevolence between you two, a sense of reciprocity, giving and taking. And <clears throat> nevertheless, this is what's caught my attention. There's a sense of stress. There's a sense of stress despite the foundation that's set in this relationship. <clears throat> what is this nine of swords? What was going on? What's, what's weighing on your mind here, Taurus? <clears throat> what's weighing on your mind? Let's get two more. What's weighing on your mind? All right, guys. Something happened here in the past that wounded you in which you haven't let go. You're still bound and chained to a negative attachment from the past. All right. This could be an actual legitimate relationship that, that, we're, that I'm tuning into. Or it could be just someone that really caught your eye. Someone that was somewhat significant to you. At least a significant prospect. Okay. However... I'm getting the sense that there was more than, you know, a, a superficial relationship. It was, it was more so something that was already founded, something that, I, that was, already was established. <clears throat> okay? Something happened here. Something happened that wounded you. And it seems as if you haven't really healed those wounds. What, what is this about? What happened? <clears throat> What wounded you here? What wounded you, Taurus? What wounded you? Who wounded you? What happened? Let's see. All right, guys. Well, it was truly a lack of seeing eye to eye in a situation, and clearly a burning came about between you and whomever else. We got the King of Coins and the Queen of Swords, right? We got Earth Energy, which is you, and then Air Energy, which seems to be the other person involved in this sharing of a burden in which you are experiencing. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm not getting more than that. What, what, what is this burden? What happened here? <clears throat> what better yet guys <clears throat> this is going to help me understand you what energy does this individual have towards you Taurus what energy does this individual have towards you let me tell you the queen of wand queen of swords is is not a light energy her words can be sharp let's see Taurus Remember, genders do not don't matter. It's just we're talking about vibrations here. We're not talking about genders. All right, <clears throat> I could be talking to a male or a female Torian. Uh, apply it to how it goes. All right. Nevertheless, guys, <clears throat> the energy that they have towards you, they got feelings towards you. They got feelings. Okay, they got a big old cup full of emotions for you. However, there's a sense of distance between you two. There's a sense of distance. This individual is in fact trying to find some peace, some tranquility by themselves. Why? Because they're in absolute obscurity. Interesting, interesting, obscurity. They're not seen clearly, guys. <clears throat> they're not seen clearly. 
there's something on their mind that's that's clouding them as well as you I want to, let's clarify this moon energy. What is, what's, what's in this darkness here? Why is this person in the dark? What, what's, what's in the dark? What's hiding in the dark? Let's, let's wind this individual. Let's get two more. What's this moon card? Clarify this. <clears throat> Ooh. Ten of swords, ten of coins, four of swords. All right, guys, like I said, this situation is significant. It's not a superficial relationship, okay? When wounds occur in this relationship, they hurt. And it seems as if both of you guys are feeling this. All right, your person got the Ten of Swords, which, which is an absolute fucking catastrophic situation. All right? And with... The Ten of Coins succeeding this Ten of Swords, what I'm getting the understanding of is that this has some serious potential, okay? There could have already been a, a relationship established. Nevertheless, even if it wasn't spoken, there was a mutual understanding of what the relationship was between you two. There was a mutual respect was, okay? Nevertheless, something happened here that brought this catastrophic shift and this person is retreating. This person is retreating to find their own peace of mind. To find tranquility. Okay? <clears throat> now let's get into it. Let's see. Let's see how this relates. This may, in fact, be a love reading. Okay? Is love the most prominent thing in your life at this time? Is that what's consuming your energy at this time? Because that's what it seems like. What energy surrounds Taurus? Romantic love life from the 10th through the 16th. What's going on with your love life this week? I looked at myself in the camera right now. I'm like, God damn, I get tense. I, I get, I, I'm like this, you know what I mean? I just get into it, guys. All right, let's see what's going on. The devil, once again. <clears throat> All right, guys. What energy surrounds your love life this week, Taurus? Nice. Nice. All right, guys. Interesting. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> I already know how this is going. I just, I see it. But I'm going to just draw cards regardless. All right. What I'm seeing here is a turn of, a turn of fate. It seems as if you're going to be receiving attention. There's the card of reconciliation, which is telling me that someone from the past, which could have been this water sign energy, which I'm seeing the queen of cone, which I'm seeing the queen of cups. Remember I told you originally, whomever it is that you were dealing with was clarified by the king of cups. Now I see the queen of cups, same similar energy. All right. What I'm seeing here is the past return guys, something in which there was a, a large sum investment. Okay, a relationship in which there was plenty of effort put forth into is coming back around. All right, you're going to be receiving attention this week. You're going to be receiving attention. That's what I'm seeing here. That's it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that, you know, this is going to turn out, you know, impeccable or glorious. Not at all. I'm just saying that you're receiving attention from some situation from the past in which you planted some seeds in all right, guys, let's clarify this. Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify this, this card of the past. What is this Six of Cups? Clarify Six of Cups. <clears throat> clarify this. All right. Interesting. <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, this person wants to leave behind the 
conflict that took place between you two. All right, they, you bring them happiness. They, you bring them happiness and that's what they're realizing, okay? With this detachment or separation that's taking place, which could be very much so the present energy, as I previously explained with the previous spread, remember I mentioned, there seems to be a sense of detachment because you, whomever it is that you're dealing with is trying to find some tranquility through this separation, abandonment, right? There was a bit of healing that took place, realization that you bring them happiness and they're wanting to bring a sense of stability moving on or moving on from this defeat. That's, that's the clarifier that I'm getting for this past energy returning into your life. All right, guys, it's simply a realization from the individual that they want to be with you. They want to be with you. They like you. They want you in their life. I'm going to clarify one more. I'll clarify the six of wands. All right. What's this attention that you seem to be receiving? <clears throat> You're going to be feeling good this week regarding your romantic endeavor, Taurus. <clears throat> Yep, damn, I'm, I'm getting repeated cards here, guys. So this is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, so whomever it is that you're dealing with is returning, plain and simple. They're wanting to heal the situation. Whatever took place between you two, they're wanting to leave that behind. They're wanting to abandon whatever, whatever happened here in the past, and they're wanting to move towards putting effort and working on the situation. You see eight, eight, and then the king of wands, which is indicating a very passionate and driven individual that is pursuing this, pursuing this star energy, which is healing. All right, guys, <clears throat> in summary, I feel that the message here was quite redundant. I'm sure you would agree since the get-go, we got a message regarding some sort of turmoil that took place and someone from the past seems to be returning. That's That was quite clear to me. Okay? Taurus, I'm looking forward to connecting with you guys some more and I'll see you guys soon.